Rag Skills Awesome Toy Review. I'm your man, Rag Skills. And today I'll be reviewing Transformers Kingdom Huffer. Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Huffer. But before I get into the review, I just want to go over some of the details on the package. Up front here you have the typical display window showing you the action figure that's inside. Over here on the side, you have a nice illustration of Huffer in his robot mode and in his truck mode. And over here on the other side, you have a nice little illustration of the Kingdom Diorama. First, starting off with a side-by-side -side profile of Galvatron and Megatron. Up here in the corner, you have Unicron. Then you have Predacon Megatron. You have Black Rachnia, Scorponox, Dinobot. In the middle here, you have the Golden Disk. Over here on the other side, you have the Nemesis, and you have Rhinox. Then below the Golden Disk, you have the Ark. Over here in the middle, you have Optimus Prime. To his left, you have Optimus Primal, Cheetor, and Rat Trap. On the other side, you have Air Razor, Bumblebee, RC, and Tigatron. And on the back of the box, you have some of the figure's features, such as Huffer in his robot mode and in his little truck mode. Kingdom Deluxe Class Huffer. Huffer's Hasbro ID number is WFC-K16. His Takara Tomy ID number is KD-EX-05. Huffer was released on April 27, 2021. Takara Tomy released their version on June 26, 2021. Huffer was released along with other Kingdom Deluxe Class Wave 2 figures, Air Razor, Raconite, and RC. Huffer is a G1 inspired toy that converts into his Earth Truck Mode in 14 steps. His accessories include his Energon Blaster, Shield, Golden Disc Card, and instructions. Huffer stands 4 inches tall and is meant for fans ages 8 and up. Now let's go ahead and get Huffer transformed. I want to go ahead and turn his head all the way around. Then the next thing they want you to do is flip his arms all the way back. Then the next step is you unclick the shoulders, untab the shoulders, you bring them down. Put that to the other side, untab the shoulders, bring it all the way down. Then the next step is they want you to take the chest and flip it out like that. Then they want you to go ahead and take the wheels and flip them down. Let me show you the better angle of it, this wheel right there. Why don't you go ahead and just flip them down. Okay, now I'm just going to warn you guys about something and I think the instructions are a little incorrect on this. On the arms, if I pull them out a little bit, there's a hole right here and you can see there's a little the holes worn out because I tried to get the hole into that peg and the instruction says to do it right now. It doesn't really work out that way and I'll show you why. I was pushing it and you can see a little bit of the, the damage around the hole on the shoulder and I, I, you know, I was trying to force it in. So what you need to do before you put those uh, the peg in that hole is you need to flip the chest up. Now you could fit the, the hole in the tail going on much easier if you flip the chest up first. Because I really, really, really tried to get it in before I flipped that chest up. And I was just, I was just making that hole worse. And I was just, you know, trying to force that peg in that hole would just not go in. And it caused a little bit of damage around the shoulder. So you, please avoid doing that. And don't push those, um, those holes into the peg until you have the chest back up again. Just a forewarning for anyone out there that has Huffer. Then you want to go ahead. You want to take the fist and you want to turn them sideways. So this part's facing out. I'll do that over here. And it should tap right into the cab too, at the same time. Okay, for the next part of the transformation, now let's go ahead and turn Huffer around. And you see the fist right here? I just want you to go ahead and just bend those in like that. I'm going to do that to the other side, like that. Then they want you to go ahead and just tab in the legs together. And snap right in. 
Once again, after you tie the legs in together, you go ahead and turn the figure around. And then I want you to go ahead and take these silver panels, and then I want you to flip those all the way forward like that. So you have that. Next thing I want you to go ahead and turn the figure around again. You want to go ahead and take the legs and just flip them up very old school like, like that. And now you have Huffer in his truck mode. There's another optional feature that is showing you instructions and that is the ability to go ahead and store your weapons on them in truck mode. So I want to go ahead and take his shield. On the back of his shield, there are three pegs. Right over here. You go ahead and you take those three pegs and you plug them right into the holes in the back of Humper's truck right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Like that. Then, you go ahead and take Humper's Energon Blaster. It's a slot right here. So you go ahead and pry the two halves apart. And there's a little hole right here, like a little dash. There's little, little uh, dashes right here. I don't know if you want to call them little pegs. And you go ahead and you just plug them right in. So I'm going to go ahead and again show you the hole right here. It's a little orange hole right here. And you go ahead and you put it on that dash. And there you have Huffer with all his weapons stored. And now he looks more like a, um, I don't know, a dump truck almost. Which I'm not a big fan of, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't like Storm, <laughs> I don't like him in that mode. I like him in his original generation one mode, I'm, I'm a purist. Let me tell you a little story. As a kid, I owned a Huffer. And there was another kid in my neighborhood that owned an Optimus Prime. And I always wanted to recreate the scene from generation one episode Heavy Metal Wars, it's the scene where Huffer tows Prime's trailer after he is badly injured in that gladiator battle with Megatron. Well, for some strange reason, that kid would not let me try that. Later on, as an adult, I picked up a vintage Optimus Prime, and I swear to you, you can make that work. Well, they also included that feature with this version of Huffer. So I'm gonna go and take Huffer, and I have Prime's trailer. And that hole right here, you can plug Prime's trailer right in there. So now you got Huffer towing Optimus Prime's trailer. 